First and ten Rams at the Carolina 38. Bulger again. Here comes everybody on the blitz. And we still can't get to Bulger. Throws it downfield. Picked yeah. it off. Yeah. Ricky Manning picked it off at the 35-yard line. Oh, uh, it's a game saver. Welcome to Inside Scoop. I'm Kristen Balboni. And in this series, we go through the most memorable plays in Panthers history. And Panthers fans certainly remember this one and the man that I'm speaking with today, and that is Ricky Manning Jr. Ricky, thank you for doing this. Definitely. Thank you for having me on. So, look, we could talk about, you know, any of the interceptions from that 2003 postseason, but we are going to focus on that first one against the Rams in overtime, that one-handed interception, because who knows what would have happened if you didn't make that interception. You know, we may not have seen X Clown, which is arguably, you know, the best play in Panthers history that you set up with this interception. We may not have seen those other interceptions for you later on in the postseason against the Eagles. So, I mean, this really is, when you talk about difference makers in Panthers history, your interception is without a doubt right there at the top of the list. Uh, so I'm so excited to talk about this with you. Yeah, definitely. It was, it was a great time, man, uh, especially for Panthers fans and us as players as well. Uh, it, was, it was a surreal moment for us and, and a great game to be a part of. Absolutely. Well, let's, let's go back to it. So 2003, you're a rookie. You guys have made it to the playoffs. You're playing the Rams. The game goes into overtime, and the Rams are driving down the field. They're in field goal territory at this point. And then this play happens. I'm going to let you take it away from here. Yeah, uh, like you said, they were in field goal territory. You know, they uh, – they rallied back to come back and, and tie the game up with us, uh, which which was was crazy because we had really had that game under control. Um, but this next play, I'm thinking, you know, maybe they're going to run the ball or dump it off the Marshall Fault, right? I'm on the backside in has coverage, uh, uh, just to to give viewers what that means is I got I got I got to cover half the field, mm. uh, but my only guy that's threatening me is Tory Hope. Uh, he runs a nice crisp uh, out out route, right? But he stops. And we got pressure on, on Mark Bolger at the time. And I, I saw the play, but I broke late because I'm, I'm a deep cover guy. And I was like, there's no way he's still going to throw this ball. You know, and Torrey Holt, sure enough, fans outside, you know, for the sideline. And I just keep going underneath it. And he throws it, right? And I'm like, oh, no, I, he, he's throwing this ball. So I, I come underneath it. And I didn't know he kept going outside. So he, he, I came underneath Torrey Holt with one hand. He had two hands on the ball. But my, my momentum going outside was a little bit greater than his. And uh, I was able to come down with the play and tuck it away to my other hand to make sure I secured the catch. Um, and uh, it, was, it was pretty awesome. It was pretty surreal. What an incredible, incredible interception. I have to ask, but the thing I love about this film, watching it back, is to see Julius Peppers immediately come right over to you. Do you remember what he said to you, I don't know if you can, you know, I mean, that might be something you want to keep private, but do you remember <laughs> what that moment was like with him afterwards? Oh, if, if anybody that knows Julius Peppers, he's a man of few words. <laughs> and uh, he didn't really even say anything, but I remember him lifting me up in the air like I was a little child. <laughs> like I was a little rag doll. And I was just, we were all excited, but he just looked at me like, you did that, you know, like you just, you just, you just say the game for us. You know, like, he didn't say no words. Like, he was just quiet and, like, uh, he was just hyped. So, uh, love Pep, man. I got to love him, dude. He's just a man of few words. But I know exactly what he meant, you know. Uh, but it was, a, it, was a, it was a good deal. And like you said, we was able to, you know, that next series, the X-Clown, uh, Steve, you know, the famous Steve Smith played and scoring a touchdown and us winning the game. It's crazy because after three years later when I went to, to play for the Bears, Levy Smith, who was the head coach of the Bears in 2006 when I went there, he was a defensive coordinator that game uh, for the Rams. And we had that same play on our offense at Chicago, uh, but he called it the, J the Seahorn route, which that's who Steve Smith beat on that play with Seahorn. He reached <laughs> that route instead of best clown. When I got to Chicago, it was called the Seahorn route, the same exact play. That's awesome. I want to go back to that X clown in the moment. So you just come off this incredible interception. Like you said, Pep lifts you in the air. Uh, and then that second, that second overtime starts. And right as soon as that second overtime starts, that's when that play happens. Stallone to, to Steve Smith. Do you remember what you were thinking in the moment, knowing that you had set that up? Oh, I was, I was ecstatic. You know, I was ecstatic because it was a back and forth game. You know, so uh, it gave us one more chance. You know, it gave us one more chance. 
the offense to go down and, and, and get it done. And uh, I mean, I jumped, I jumped, I jumped out of <laughs> off the bench in excitement, like they they did it, they got it done. Uh, and I mean, it was like I said, it was just surreal. I can't imagine what that moment was like for you. Um, that is why we so much appreciate you taking the time to share it with us right now. It's it's so cool, you know. Uh, we really, really appreciate you uh, doing this. Thank you so much, Ricky. Thank you. Thank you for having me on uh, anytime. I love talking about ball. I love bringing back the old memories, especially uh, moments like that where, where Keep Pounding was was brought alive. You know, that, that was the definition of it right there. Uh, we had Mark Fields. We had Sam Mills. Like, that's when that Keep Pounding – uh, cardiac cats was 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 birthed in that season, and uh, I'm just thankful to be a part of it. Thankful for my teammates, my coaches. Um, we had a great time, and uh, it's some memories that no one can take away from us. And and I'm a DB. You can talk about that at any time. I would never, I would never be embarrassed. You know? <laughs> I love that with confirmation. So keep on confirming me. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you again for the time. This was a blast. All right. Thank you.